Hey guys, Rocket Blade here once again. What's up, everybody? Well, I know if you noticed, like, hey, you shaved your mustache, your little chin beard. Well, I felt it was time. I felt it was time I needed to shave, you know. And I haven't seen you guys in a while, and I'm really apologize for not making a video in a while since I've been so busy. If you, for for those wrestling fans out there, um, I went to WrestleMania. I have some pictures on on my Facebook channel, um, on not Facebook channel, but Facebook. Uh, I took some pictures from WrestleMania. I met uh, one of the wrestlers named Becky Lynch. It's all on my Facebook. Um, just look up Alex Dayan or Alexis Dayan. You should, you should find it. And you find pictures from the event itself. Also the expo. Me meeting Becky Lynch and so on and so forth. And it was fun. And it was a fun weekend. And after that, I had to go to work. And I'm off the rest of the week. And, oh, uh, but man, it's just exa I just came off from work not too long ago. And just, I mean, it's just been real busy. You know, it's been really, really busy. Um... You know, you know, just that, just with work and and you know, and so that's why I haven't make a video for a while. So I want you to think I've forgotten. I know I've been behind. On, I'm behind on certain things like you know, I know the new episode of Walking Dead, uh, episode three came out. I haven't even played it yet. I need to play it and get that let's play going. And I'm no behind on Max Payne. Jesus, I'm I'm behind on a couple of things, and I and I and I deeply, I deeply, I want to apologize for the for for that. But um, but let's talk about why we're here today. Um, just want to get to apologize the way and why it took so long, but let's get to why we're here today. Um, particularly, it's with Atlas and Persona Five and the controversy. But before I get to all that, let me say one thing: you know about the whole Atlas slash Persona Five controversy. You guys have of the internet has have absolutely every right to be upset. But here's what I'm trying to tell you: you're being upset at the wrong people hold on excuse me so i bet you're wondering okay rocket blade if i shouldn't be mad at atlas who should i be mad with easy sega now i'm watching i bet you're wondering well, why sega first things first they own atlas now because i don't know who owned them originally but i do know they went out of business unfortunately so i don't know they're, uh, they're the japanese uh developing company you know japanese companies trying to like bid for them and sega won so Sega now owns Atlas, and you know, so just good, you know. I just have, some, you know, and Sega, and, and you know, and Sega, you know, and Sega has makes good games besides Sonic, you know, that like Vanquish, Binary Domain, the Vicar Chronicle franchise, just name a few besides Sonic. So they make good games outside of Sonic. Hell, the new Alien game was way better than the Colonial Marines that came out with the new horror version, the new Alien. That was like a horror game that was great. So they have great licenses, great IPs other than you know. Um, Sonic, and, I heard, and there's rumors of working on the, they renewed license, they renewed the license for Virtual Fighter, so that might come out, of course, Yakuza's kicking ass, so a lot of, a lot of good other franchises under, under their belt, but the reason why I say it's Sega, because a long, a while back ago, um, and there was a new Shining Force game was coming out, I want to say it was Shining Force 3, um, and, you know, it was coming out in Japan, you know, they want to promote it, and for some, Shining Force 3 or 4, I'm, I'm not sure, but I want to say it's 3, I want to say, say it's 3, and the games before that, for some reason, they decided to flag anything that showed Shining Force, gameplay, footage, I mean, everyone was getting flagged hardcore, to the point where several channels, small channels like me, got lost because of it, because they couldn't find it. And hell, one big YouTuber, I'm pretty sure you guys heard of him, named Total Biscuit, was like, outright, I am never doing a Sega review on his channel ever again. He's outright boycotting Sega for what they did. Because I'm pretty sure he had, like, friends that were, like, small channels and got destroyed by this whole Shining Force Tabasco. So... And let's so fast forward. At, all of a sudden, it's doing this weird like, well, if you pay past a certain point of um, Persona Five, I think four twenty. I think it's the date or month for the game. I don't know how the calendar, the system, date system works in that game. But I know after four twenty, if you go past that point, I know four twenty plays it. <laughs> um, the, um, you can no longer share or screenshot the video. And if you try to film it or stream it. That will either take down, you know, copyright strike your YouTube channel, or take down the video, or stop your, st or take down your streamers. So even Twitch is not safe to stream anymore. And of course, the people are pissed about this. 
I mean, absolutely livid, and rightfully so. But again, don't be mad at Atlas, Sega, because they have a history. Look at the Shining Force shit. I mean, look it up. I mean, I think Total Biscuit did like a whole like hour like podcast thing on his channel talking about that whole shenanigans. He goes really deep into it. So if you want to get more get more details, go to um. Total Biscuits channel. I mean, I gave you the basic details, but if you like, like more like nitty gritty, like how badly it was, how, how badly it affected people, go to Total Biscuits channel. You'll get more deep. You'll, you'll get more in depth into it. But it's just it's insane to me because it's like did, did no one learn from the ukulele the fiasco and how it hurt the game, and now it, it's worse that it's coming out to mediocre scores based on what I'm hearing. Um, some saying it's good, some saying it's bad. So I'm saying you either love it or hate it, but it's not like all right. It's not, it's not like Persona 5, which, by the way, is getting tons of good scores. I've seen nothing lower than a, lower than a 9. Famitsu gave it a good score. IGN. I believe Giant Bomb. I mean, a lot of critics are just loving this game. I mean, Persona 5 is being praised by heavens. That is like the next big RPG this year. It, it did really, really great, but it's just too bad. Now there's this controversy with it that people everywhere, like Jim Quisition, hell, even Kotaku... Is, you know, include, me included, is talking about this. Because, like, yeah, Persona's great. It's funny. It's like, you can't escape it either. It's like, oh, it, 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 it's like, oh, Persona 5, the best RPG to come out this month. But then right below it, news, like, oh, YouTubers and Twitch streamers, beware. You know, this is what Atlas will do to you if you, if, you know, film past a certain point. And, you know, and, and it makes the game, and like, now it has that controversy, and now it makes the game look bad. And because of that, some people are saying that they're, out, they're outright not gonna buy the game because of it and i don't play them i'm still interested in it i'm i, I want to see review on it and get my two i'm still thinking about it but still they have that right to feel that way because you know if the people want to film it and review or critique it like you know like what i would like i would do it's gonna be pretty hard if they over oh, at a certain point you can't like I, I i know but but here's what they're doing i know because and i think they're being normal about it but here's the thing they're not the, the way they're doing it is very dickish Look, I understand that, you know, Persona games are very story-based. They are. And you want, like, people to be spoiler-free from it so they can enjoy the game, really experience it, get their money's worth from the game. I understand that. Hell, but the best thing to do about it, instead of saying what you said, put a embargo. Hell, I think Nintendo did it with, like, Pokemon Sun and Moon, like, these, these specific sites to fight separate types of, you know, Pokemon stuff. They put a embargo on those sites, at least for like a week or so. And after that, they let them go crazy the next week afterwards. Look, if you want people to enjoy the game without worrying about spoilers, put like an embargo saying, hey, for a week or so, don't do this stuff. The week after, okay, then go crazy. But to be like, oh yeah, you better not do this or else, is like, dude, have you not learned from pissing off the internet is never a good idea? Never. I've never seen anyone that pissed off the internet and succeeded from it. it. This never happens. Whether it was ukulele or the H three H H three H three lawsuit, um, the, the guy that the guy that's suing them, his uh, he's like a parkour guy. His channel is fucking dead on the wall. I think it's called the bald guy. Whatever his name is, his channel is fucking dead. I mean, people just go on his channel just to thumbs and down and hate on this guy like you know quit youtube your cancer die i mean the most hateful oh my god shit you I mean you, th you think roman reigns from wwe gets some shit nah this guy gets some really nasty shit <laughs> man it, lo it looks like <laughs> amateur with roman, Re with roman reigns in comparison because it's a bald guy here on on you the parkour guy he gets like it shit on hard hard like he like and here's the thing about that guy, even if he wins, which everyone's saying he doubts it, and I, and I doubt so too, considering that, you know, H3H3 H3 got legit lawyers, even if this guy somehow managed to win, there's nothing to go back to. His channel is dead, virtually. It's just dead, and like, nobody, I mean, nobody gives a fuck about him. They wish him death and failure. Like, really, like, what was the point, dude? Like, really, you should have just quit while you were ahead Star new chat. I mean, the only way you can do YouTube, if you still want to do YouTube, so star chat from the ground up. Maybe wear a mask to hide yourself so people don't know who you are. Hide your voice. And then maybe you can make a good comeback like that. I don't know. I mean, look, I'm, I mean, I know I'm being extreme here, but you get my point. It's like, did you gain anything from it? 
No. And now, look what happened. And same thing with Atlas. It's like, or I mean, this, this case, Sega. Why? Why would you do this? Because see, now, yeah, your game's getting praised, but now there's that controversy behind it. And, con I mean, it's not good press. You, the people that say, good pre any good press is good press. No, it's not. Not like not when it comes to shit like this. Because it hurts the people that buy the product, like me and anyone else that has the right to stream. Pre and they should. God damn it, they, buy the, they bought the game. I mean, they, they should have to do right the, whatever they want with it. It's like, it's, you know, as long as they don't, like, make illegal copies and sell it, of course, then all right. But, like, you know, they want to stream it to their friends. Whatever. But, you know, it's like, fuck, man. Really? It's like, really? It's like, why would you think that's a good idea? Honestly. <sighs> you know? And and I know there's people going to be out there saying, oh, they have a right to do that. They have a right to do that. It's, it's their product or whatever. Just because it's the right thing. That's and this and that. I mean, not the right thing. Just because the right, just because they have the right to do it, doesn't necessarily mean it's a smart decision. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I have like I like if I like that person disagrees, I have a right to shoot him. I like I have a right to you to shoot him in the face. Is that a smart decision? No, because I can most likely go to jail. So just because you, they have a right to do something doesn't necessarily mean it's a, it's smart to do it. You know what I'm saying? What they did was very stupid. They should just maybe put an embargo, be nice about it, and then just let it go. Because the internet's going to do what the internet's going to do. And these Japanese companies are going to wake up and realize this. And the sooner they do, the better, the, the, the better they'll benefit from it. Because, hell, here's the point. I did a video on, you know, how Blizzard should leave the Overwatch porn alone. And, and you know, and now, of course, there's a whole bunch of Overwatch porn. And, and people were like, even thumbs on a video and trolling me. But that just comes with the territory of the internet. I mean, I, I, and I got shit on pretty bad. I'm not gonna lie. I, I, I did delete it because it was it was it was asshole. They were fucking assholes being dicks to me. But that was that was with that. Now, if I would have said like, "Oh yeah, you better not be funny," or else, or, or else, you know, I'll ban you. People probably would have ripped me to shreds, and you know, and did worse things. One thing that's just to, to to like put out something. You know, it's like one thing that is like it's like one thing to put like you know. It's one, I'm sorry, I've gotten flooded by my words, but you get my point. Point being, this was not smart, and now it's backfiring. See, now there's that positive praise of the game, but now there's that backlash coming with it. And is it worth it at the end of the day? I don't think so. It's not. So now it looks bad for your game, and that is some people because of it not want to buy it because I'm pretty sure there's professional streamers and YouTubers that want to like review it or to stream it, and now because of what you just did, they're probably not be interested in buying it anymore because of what you did. And now you lost a lot of people. You should just put a little embargo, put like for a week, and after that, let them go crazy. Because at the end of the day, they, they have a right to spend it their money. And, and at the end of the day, just because they have a right to do it doesn't mean that it's the smart decision. Because now look at this. Now, now it's getting negative press, and there's people that want to buy it. So is it worth it? No. I mean, and again, I know what you're trying to do. Oh, we just want to make sure no one spoils the game. I understand that, but let, let, them, let the people decide they want that or not. If they get spoiled, that's their fault. But I'm pretty sure people put spoiler warnings on their videos. Like, hey, these streams have spoiler warnings or spoiler content. I'm sure they warn their people. Most people do. I mean, there's some asshole that just put a video and put this random spoiler. And they do exist no matter what. Even if you put a embargo, the people will still do it anyway. But you got you should have done it in a better way. Hell, even, even Atlas of America <laughs> is like, oh, please, don't be mad at us. This wasn't our decision. I mean, they said some, like, professional stuff on their Twitter, Facebook, I believe. But it's like... The main said like, oh, it's, it's, it's like they're trying, it, 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 indirectly trying to shift blame. Like, oh, it's not us, it's, it's Japan. You know, they didn't say that, but in the way, if you read between the lines, it's like, if you read between the lines, it's basically that's what they're saying. It's not, it's not us, it's Japan. You know, please, don't be mad at us. You know? Oh, but that's my thoughts, guys. What do you think about this whole Persona um, 5 controversy? What about contro controversy, excuse me. Do you think Sega has a right to do that? Do you think they shouldn't do it? You're in my decision. I think they, I think they should, because now all this backlash is coming with the game. Not not only come with praise, but controversy and the bad kind. You know what I mean? So, alright, guys, what you tell me? Tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. I love to hear your guys' thoughts on the matter. Is this? I mean, these Japanese companies need to wake up and learn because, I mean, all the American companies are with it. They don't even care. 
I mean, Activision is the only one that kind of does, but only on glitches to make Call of Duty look bad. Other than that, it's free game when it's whatever. You know, it's still dickish. But other than but still, you, you got to get with the times, guys. You Japanese companies, you got to get with the times. Otherwise, you will be left behind. Because they keep adding the thing. They keep adding like, They have the keys, and they act like, oh, they, 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 um... Don't niche on the market. Spo- here's 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 the, here's the thing. You're not the only you know you're not the only ones in the market. There's other RPGs. There are other shooters. There's other adventure games. This includes Nintendo. You guys, there's other IPs out there that pe- people can go to. You know, it's not like it's not like um, WWE, for example, would have a like a whole other wrestling market so they can do whatever they want. The game industry has like tons of tons of games coming out every day that people can go to can go to hell, you know, because it's thanks to Kickstarter, we have games now, people get fun ideas and projects, so they can play the games they want to play, so we're kind of the age of where you need to go to a big time game developer or, another example, movie producer to get a movie game made, you, you, it's all about self-funding, hell, the angry video game nerds proved that you can make your movie without using like a, a movie, using a big, you know, using a big, you know, type of, uh, you know, movie production to make a movie or anything or you know you know, or with Shovel Knight you don't need a big like developing like the like development company like EA or Activision to make a game. You know, you, you fan funding is, is the way of the future. And if you guys just keep doing this stuff, you're gonna be further and further left behind. It's just it's just sad it's just, it's I mean I mean whether you like it or not, it's the truth. And if you don't shape up and change, it's you're only gonna be left behind. And people will take your spot and gladly do it, too. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. As always, Rocket Blade signing out. Hope to see you guys again real soon. Peace out.